But the whole psychology behind Fortnite that <laughs> nobody even talks about, nobody's even paying attention to. I took a step back and I noticed so many things like, okay, there's a bunch of kids addicted to this. I never seen anybody so addicted to a game. Cause I be picking up my kids from school and I'm these kids are doing these dances. Oh, you the see dances? These, the floss? Everybody's about those dances. I seen all the kids doing it. Well, heck, even I try to do it. You, you'll, ne you'll never catch me doing that at school, okay? I'll tell you that right now. And Fortnite, I think Fortnite did a really smart move of stealing these dances from these famous artists. Have you noticed these dances are stolen from professional people? They're giving no credit to them. I didn't know that that was happening, but... I've often wondered, like, where did they get these moves from? Like, I know they didn't just, like, poof, somebody thought about it. Like, okay, the floss was made by the backpack kid, right? The backpack kid? Yeah. That, you know the backpack kid? That's what they call him. Maybe if I saw the video again. Go on I YouTube, probably know. I probably go on YouTube do. and type in backpack kid. He's oh doing the floss. I'm like, I'm going to look it up Come right on, now. Come on, you know it. Okay, search it up. Okay. As soon as I saw the picture of him, I was like, oh, okay, I know him. I told you. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are not good with names, like myself. But the whole thing behind this Fortnite thing, I'm not a big fan of Fortnite, but my kids play it. I don't have a problem with my kids playing video games. I don't think they cause violence. What do you think on that? I think... I think it causes anger issues. Well, I don't... Um... I don't think kids should be playing certain things. Like, there's certain adult concepts that I just don't think kids should be playing. I mean, like, that's why they the games have ratings, like, you know, rated M for mature. You know, I think that kids should be playing games in their maturity mm -hmm. levels. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's no money to be made there, Marlena. Just giving you a heads up. I know that, but I guess as a parent, that's like... Why would I want my nine-year-old, you know, playing Grand Theft Auto, stealing cars, going to do these missions that, like, involve beating people up? Why would I want that? Okay, yeah, that looks bad. because <laughs> I'm like, now you think about it. <laughs> I let my kid play that, and he was shooting people up, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> this does not look good. Yeah, watching them try to do certain things like that is just like, no, no, let's just change this, switch it up. There's this whole theory behind Fortnite. Supposedly, I think it's true, my opinion. There's a whole psychologist team that made this game. Behind that, there was like, okay, what are ways to get teenagers or people addicted to this game? Like, how can we set the trigger of dopamine and shoot through their heads? I think it's because people like to do things in the video games that they can't do in real life. There's no repercussions, no consequences. And so people, quote, let off steam by playing in this game and doing things that they can't do in real life. It's funny you say that because it reminded me of one of my friends back in middle school. I'm like, why do you play Grand Theft Auto so much? He's like, well, I get to do things that I can't do in real life. <laughs> well, that's why people go to, like, VR. No, uh, he meant to say was... Like, I get to kill people, steal cars, buy a boat, buy a plane, buy a business. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, you can do that stuff in Grand Theft Auto. Yes, because I've played the game. Okay, you see me play it many times. So, let me tell you what dopamine is. It's a chemical in your brain that affects your emotions, movement, and your sensations of pleasure and pain. So if you pay attention to Fortnite, the colors, the colors are meant to like pop out at you. So the whole psychologic psychology thing about this is use colors that catch your eye. You know the saying, don't get a red car because it's the most ticketed car yeah. in the country. That's true because I used to have a red car. Did you get them tickets? Heck yeah, I did. <laughs> it's dumb because I was the only. We're all going the same speed. They decided to pull me over. I'm like, oh, crap. Yep. That's why I never got in a red car, nor will I ever. And Coca-Cola does this. They put freaking chemicals in a can, in a cool-looking can. 
a cool looking red can. So psychologists are comparing this game to the casino. It gives it the casino effect. By the casino effect, I mean you lose by a little, you win by a lot. You ever been on the slot machines and you're, you put the handle down and you lose by what? Like one number? You could have hit the jackpot? Yeah. And you're like, damn. Let and it makes you want to keep playing. Yeah, it's like you almost had it. Right? It's like this next you're one. Like. The whole game, the whole slot machine just giving you a bunch of hope. Like dopamine is shooting up like, oh, I almost got it. I almost had it. Let me try again. Next thing you know, you're freaking $80 down the drain, 100 bucks down the drain. And that's pretty much what Fortnite is. So I know Marlena's giving me this look like, how's Fortnite a casino effect? <laughs> because you don't understand the game. If you watch your daughter play. I will sometimes. Okay, if you actually pay attention how she's playing. Well, I do. Like, I watch her, and I'm trying to understand what's going on. So when she's in a gun battle, right, with somebody else, she almost comes close to killing the other person. And when she dies, it shows the the health level that the other person had. Like, she almost killed that guy. Get it? So she was, yeah. in her mind, she's like, oh, my God, I almost, I could have killed him. I almost had him. Yeah. So it gives you the urge to, like, okay, let's try again. Or the famous saying, oh, one more game, one more game. Three hours later, you're still saying that. She don't understand because she's not a gamer. Only it's a gamer thing. Yeah, it must be a gamer thing because I'm like, you hear all them pauses? That's too much thinking right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's the, um, the feeling of hope combined with dopamine. It's giving you like. The pleasure. The pleasure. Oh, you That's almost That's why you want to keep it. doing it, and right? It you, feels good. It feels like the rush. Like, it's the recent mm-hmm. adrenaline. Like, ooh, I almost had it. I'm going to win. This but wait, next one's mine. But what if you win? That's what I mean. The it's next like, one's wow, mine. I'm really good at this. Just because you won one time and you you completely forgot that you lost 20 times. But that one time you won, you feel like really good. So you want to keep going. It's like, okay, one more game. One more game. Well, that and people mm-hmm. feel like... Oh, you know what? I know as soon as I stop, somebody's going to come. Like, you made it hot for them. And then somebody else is going to get your jackpot. So you don't want to give up your spot. You want to keep going because you know the next one's going to be yours. What, what do you mean spot? Well, because if you leave this... Never mind. You did it. Be, oh, never mind. <laughs> I know what I said. She's not a gamer. You just didn't understand it. What do you mean a spot? Like, if you quit? If you leave your spot. What if you mean? leave your slot... Because I'm okay. trying to make you understand, and you're like, the deep did he make okay, you okay. sound like deep did We had to pause it and talk about it because I still don't understand what the heck she's saying, but I'm just going to agree with her. Yes, leave your slot. So they pretty much made this game for every device freaking PC, Xbox, PlayStation, even your mom's dad's phone. That's the thing that bugs me. When kids ask me, can I but use your phone? No, I don't have Fortnite on this crap. Well, download it. Let's move on to sexual desires. What does that mean when... What do you think about when I say sexual desires in a video game? I think about... How the characters are drawn. Like, what are their features? Because, I mean, other than that, like... They're making, like, what, the background? Some kind of ambiance or whatever? I mean, the only thing that has to go by is the characters. Okay, remember, this game... Nothing was made by accident. Everything was done on purpose. So it all has to do with dopamine, dude. And then let me talk to you in English about dopamine. Just think about something. How should I say? When you win, it's an excitement. Something shoots in your brain. This liquid shoots in your brain. And that's the thing that makes you excited. So this game is full of dopamine. They call it the crackhead game for kids. Hmm. So don't. It's the first time I've heard about that. Yeah, it's a crackhead game. Okay, because so it's a crackhead game. Everything about it is just it's crazy, dude. So these characters were not created by accident. It was done on purpose. Did you notice how thick the girls look on the games? Not necessarily. At least not at first. Because you're not paying attention to it. Well, I guess I'm not noticing their features as much. Mm-hmm. Well, they pointed that out. Like, why are the characters so thick? Like, what the heck? Does it have to do with the what people like nowadays? Yeah, it's meant for your young teenagers to turn them on. They like it. 
sexual desires. That's crazy. And on the one of the characters, there's a dance on the girls. Go Are they back. twerking or what? No. So there's a dance. There's dance moves where the girls' boobs are moving around. Oh, they're they're jiggling. Yes. That was not by accident. That was on purpose. Like it's supposed to simulate what real reality, right? Well, yes, but they know teenagers. They like that. It turns them on. I'm telling you. They made a big deal about this on the internet. No, Probably I know. Wikipedia. I believe it. It's just kind of like wow. Yeah, so this game is just full of excitement. So, you know when you get close to a treasure chest, you start hearing this noise. Okay. And you start looking around like, oh, what the heck, where's that noise came out of? And as you get closer to it, it gets louder and louder. And it's like this big gold chest. And you're like, wow, this must be something good in there. Gets you excited, right? Yeah. You open it up. It's not exactly what you found. But then you find another one around the corner. You open that one up and it's like a really good gun. And then you go around another corner, it's another one right there. And it's like, they say it's crack all over the video game. Because every time you turn a corner, it's like, it's getting you excited. Like, wow. Well, yeah, because then you get excited about finding more things, right? It's like the possibility of getting new stuff. Yeah. And then you don't even have to be good at this game. There's freaking, these kids are unlocking achievements without even trying, without even knowing they even unlocked anything. So these they're just walking around, opening up chests, and it's like, boom, you unlocked an achievement. One of four chests unlocked in this game. And it's like, what the heck? I unlocked, I'm completing an achievement? So it's getting you excited, like, wow, I'm completing stuff, and I don't even know it. Let me just keep walking around, let's see what else I unlock. And it keeps them playing, right? That's the whole point, right? It keeps them exciting, like hope, like, oh, it's time, the game is trying to say, hey, you're good. Even though you suck, you're still good. Look. <laughs> mm. Look what you found. Look at the reward. What did yeah. you get just for being there? Yep. So back in my days, back in 2006 through 2010, my Halo days, video games weren't like that. Right now, money is king in video games. You need money to get the best costumes, the best guns, the best everything. You see, back then, it wasn't like that for us. Like, you needed a skill, you needed strategy to get these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. You could only obtain, like, cheat codes for certain things as you went through the game and, and, and unlock well, the Well, it's not secrets. cheat codes, but it's just... Well, yeah, because even back then, there was still cheats. Yeah, there was cheats back then. But what I'm saying, back then, if you suck, you suck. There's no... Oh, no. Yeah, The game's right. not going to make you feel any better, you know? Yeah, there's games that I played that I still have never been past a certain level because I could just never get past them. You see, games these days will probably grant you that. Like, you know what? You suck, but I'm just going gonna to throw you to the next level. Well, yeah, because now everybody can just look, at, look it up and it's right there. Yeah. But back then, it's like you had to be good if you wanted that satisfaction you had to keep re repeating it like keep practicing mm -hmm. keep practicing you had to put the man hours in get that dopamine in like oh that feels good to win because you worked your ass off and now all it takes is some of daddy's money to get the good guns and i'm guilty as charged on that because i gave our stepdaughter i think for her birthday i gave her like 100 bucks worth of v bucks i'm not sure i think she got like 10,000 v bucks or something I didn't even want to spend that money. Well, she kept bugging me that she wanted, oh, this costume. No lie, I was kind of upset that she had the same costume at all times. And all these other kids were, like, having the cool costumes. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get you $100 worth of V-Bucks. And that's another psychological thing right there. So the game, would you spend $10 for an outfit? No. So here's the how the game tricks your mind. You mean for an outfit, an outfit for the game, right? What? An outfit for the game, right? Yeah, an outfit for the okay, game. Okay, yeah. All right, no. So if they were to put $10 for one outfit, you wouldn't buy it, right? No. But you would spend like $50 and get like, for example, 5,000 V-Bucks. So what they did was instead of putting money signs on the outfits... They put V bucks on it, like oh, this outfit cost you one thousand V bucks. Okay. Do you get how it's tricking your mind? 
you bought ten thousand dollars worth of V bucks. Ten thousand V bucks for ten for fifty bucks. Mm, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. So you don't feel like you're spending a lot because it's a thousand V bucks. Right. 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 Do you get it? Yeah. Now I get it. I'm like, I see. Damn, this game is freaking smart, dude. I like it. I interviewed this guy. He's a Fortnite coach. Best Fortnite coach on Fiverr. You can listen to the interview on episode 21. Go back after you finish listening to this one. Because it's almost soon, it's almost ending soon. But we we're talking about how you'll coach kids. And their parents will pay because they're tired of hearing their kids crying about it. Like, oh, I suck. I suck at this. I suck at that. I don't think I'd pay anybody to come teach my kid how to play this video game like that just because they were crying. Is that bad? Well, because you haven't heard her complain a lot. Even if she did, I would tell her to play a new game, find a new hobby, to go well, out and do something. Sometimes their parents don't want their kids to suck a lot. That's why you give them coaches. Nah. I guess it's just not something that I would pay for. Mm. That's just me, though. Hmm. It's funny because I would pay for it. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> we're well, um, I guess we'll cross mm-hmm. this bridge when we come to it, huh? Hey, that guy's make he's he's making good side money doing that job. I'm well, that's cool, and kudos to them. Mm. All right, but it's just not something that that I would spend my money on. That's it. That's all. Our money. <laughs> right excuse me uh, our money you know what this game reminds me of um what? the hunger games when president snow says you know why these games are made and the other guy's like no so president snow answers saying hope fortnite is a bunch of hope a hope of, for what hope to move on to the next level Get that that new that new skin, that new costume, new outfit. Oh, I know because I know it's important to people who are really like into that game. Especially kids. They you like go live to, their... to get the new skins. Oh no, dude! This game is feeding off of kids big time, dude. You go to these schools and they're talking about which outfits they're getting, and then there's your little kid that has no outfits, and you're then you're feeling bad for them. That and everybody's doing the dance moves and like. You can't do it. Look at this. And they got dance battles going. I bet you that happens all the time. Oh, they do. I caught them. <laughs> got my stepped out doing it. I'm like, what are you doing over there? I'm and doing the, the floss. Doing the floss. Well, how about you get in the car, damn it? <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> One important thing nobody has noticed. Well, I'm pretty sure people have noticed. It still says beta on the top right of the menu on Fortnite. Do you know what beta is? No. Okay, beta is, picture like this. We're going to release a beta version of this game, which is not the official game. We just want to see what players... Is it like a tester? Yeah, a tester. Like, Let's see what people think about it, give us their feedback, and we're going to release the final one. And it doesn't say beta, but Fortnite right now says beta on. It's been like that for, what, years already? They're keeping so they're, it... They're saying it's a tester this whole time? It is a, still a test, but they keep updating it. It's not really a test anymore, is it? So they keep by keeping that testing, beta up there, they quote, test, they the keep new, updating the game. That's what I mean. They keep testing the updated versions. Yeah. So is it like a loophole? I think I don't know. You know, I don't know anything about that. I think it is. I mean, just because, like, why keep it like that for so long? It must be like some kind of a loophole or something. A lot of other games are following. I think PUBG is still on beta. I'm not sure. You don't know. What I think PUBG they is. are. But Fortnite, the reason they're doing it is keeping the game fresh. They're adding more cool stuff, more achievements, more dopamine, more crack around the freaking game. Because have you noticed there's another season coming out all the time? Like season 10 just came out or season right, 9. Because, I don't know what season are right now. Yeah, because our daughter forgot about Fortnite for a good while. Remember, she was just like done with Fortnite her little phase was over, and then all of a sudden, we happened to load it one time, and she saw like them with new outfits or skins or whatever. Everything looked updated, and it was new, and all of a sudden, now no, her Fortnite lying. fire has been reignited. Well, look how cool the freaking screen looks, dude. The Fortnite menu? 
I'm like, that's freaking tight. Whoever created these characters. We'll see those updated versions work then because look at they hooked them right back in. Man, they're freaking smart, dude. Wow. So next time you guys are playing the game, seeing your cousin play, your brother, sister, someone play, pay attention to everything that's going on, the colors, the sound effects. Even the sound effects plays big on the game. It just makes you feel like, wow. The shooting, getting close to that the chest, the golden chest. Yeah, chest. the only thing that I would add is that they need some background music. What are you talking about? They do have background music. Don't I know. They we were just playing it and I didn't hear any background music in it. I think we were even commenting on how they need music. Why do you need background music? They're running around trying to shoot each other. I need something That's gonna, else. You're not going to be able to hear the bullets. What a rookie. No, they need background music. You're a rookie. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, this is just uh, our thoughts on the psychology behind Fortnite. And let us know what you think. You can find me on Instagram, Bernie and Marley Podcast. You can send us an email, Bernie and Marley Podcast at yahoo.com. Let us know what you think, or are we full of it? You think we lost our minds? Not yet. Not yet. I think I still have some of it. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around and have a good one. Later.